guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video it is Kobe Lou I don't think we bark right now actually okay it is a beautiful day out there it feels like summer is on the way the weather forecast seems to say that summer's on the way and I'm very happy about it I've got my fresh washing out on the line which not gonna lie i've had a bit of anxiety surrounding a bit of ptsd if you watch the vlogs you know what happened last time i hung my washing on the line if you didn't watch that vlog let's just say it was traumatic i hung my washing all out it was a big load jordan hadn't put the washing line up properly as i walked in the house and shut the door it pinged off and my laundry was all over the garden and I've been scared to hang washing out since. I literally was like yanking on the washing line, making sure that was in properly this time. And so far, touch wood, we're going strong. My clothes are all clean, they're on the line because I'm all pretty sure you are very concerned. So yeah guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a good old fashioned vlog i think this is going to be just a few days with me i'm just pottering around the house got some new bits and bobs to show you and that's pretty much it i feel like i'm full on like excited for summer now like i'm looking online wanting to buy things for holidays i feel like people are all starting to go on holiday like a lot of people that i follow are on holiday and it's just getting me really excited although hair fever season has hit me hard past few days i've woke up i actually feel really like bunged up right now past few days i've woke up my eyes have been itchy my throat's been itchy it's just hit me hard but it means summer's on the way so kind of happy before we get into the video a big thank you to freddie's flowers for sponsoring this video what a fun gorgeous little collab for this gorgeous beautiful spring day spring day spring summer day is it technically spring or is it summer i'm not sure but we all love fresh flowers there is no better feeling than having fresh flowers in your house i just love it i feel like it really brightens up the space it puts a smile on my face and i just love it so if you've not heard of freddie's flowers before they're actually a subscription service so you can subscribe and get fresh flowers delivered to your door automatically which is such a nice little touch because i feel like flowers can be so expensive in supermarkets when i go shopping i always have a look and they're so expensive so to have them come to your door and be fresh and last a long time is such a lovely little service not only that you can also gift people flowers so if i'm sending a loved one a friend family some flowers i always send them through freddie's flowers because they've got next day delivery and the cut off is 8 p.m so if you're running a bit last minute you need to send some flowers to someone's way for their birthday or just to brighten up their day you can do that up until 8 p.m and it will get delivered the next day which is incredible another thing to mention is that the freddie's flowers arrive directly from the grower so when they come they'll not have came out of their bud yet like they haven't bloomed it's bloomed the technical term she's not a florist so i don't know if that's a technical term but they come before they're at the best so you can enjoy them for longer i've had flowers before from the supermarket and literally two days later they're dead and it's a waste um i want them to last as long as possible and the freddie's flowers definitely do that because like i said they come they are still in their little bud and then they come out into a beautiful flower and look stunning. So as I've been chatting with the team of Freddie's Flowers, they have informed me that peonies are in season right now and they're not in season for a long time. So I have got a gorgeous box of flowers ready to put together of peonies to show you how beautiful they are. I'm also gonna send some out to my gorgeous loved ones and i feel like it's a perfect opportunity for you guys to send someone you love some flowers brighten the day you never know when someone might need it or if you've got someone's birthday coming up an anniversary who knows but it's a perfect opportunity to send someone some gorgeous spring summer flowers which will brighten up their space so let's open up the flowers and i'll show you how they arrive so here is the box of flowers. Let's open it up. 
So within each box of flowers, you also get an arrangement guide. So if you're like me and you kind of just unbox your flowers and put them in the vase and hope for the best, this is perfect for you because I'm not a florist. I'm not a flower arrangement girly. So this is perfect to show you how to make the most of your flowers, make them look the most beautiful and look like you've got this extravagant big bouquet of flowers. So I'll pop the one on screen for this box for the peonies, which I got. So you can have a little look of what I'm gonna do. Stunning. Let me show you how nice these look. Look at these beautiful flowers. These are gonna brighten up the kitchen so nicely. I've also got this little step-by-step -step guide as well. Such a cute little activity to do, like a little flower arrangement. I feel so wholesome. So I also ordered a new vase to pop the flowers in today. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Love that. I love a classic glass vase because I like to see the stems in the arrangement. Okay, I'm going to get the flowers out. I'm going to get my arrangement guide out and let's put these gorgeous flowers together. This looks gorgeous, it really brightens up the space so nice and goes perfectly with my little picture on the wall. I love it. This is what I meant about them not being fully bloom yet. So obviously they look like this now, which still looks really pretty. They open up and then it'll obviously last a lot longer. You also get some flower food, which it says on here to add the flower food when you change the water to give them a little boost and help them last up to two weeks or more. So I'll keep that to one side, ready for when I'm gonna change the water. But I just think they look so beautiful. I also wanted to mention that Freddie's flowers are super sustainable. They grow their flowers for the order. They don't just make them in bulk and waste any. And also all the packaging is recyclable, which is just great. Look at my little arrangement. She is beautiful. And Freddie's Flowers have been kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. I will leave it on screen. It is Dion10. It will get you 10% off gifts. So use this opportunity as an excuse to treat someone, treat a loved one, make someone's day, or even treat yourself. There is nothing better than getting yourself flowers because we all deserve it. And sometimes you've just got to treat yourself to a nice, gorgeous bouquet of flowers like this. We'll leave my code down in the description and a link to shop directly. But thank you to Freddy's Flowers for sponsoring this part of the video. I am obsessed. How beautiful do they look on my kitchen island? They really just brighten up the space so much. Love them. Hello, guys. It is... A few days later I have just got back from the gym it is what time eight o'clock and it's just been the bank holiday weekend we had a lovely time away camping I feel like I've definitely caught the sun it was so warm the whole weekend it was gorgeous I've got a really dry nose I don't know whether it's from the sun or blowing my nose because hair fever problems 
but my nose feels really dry however it is a new week well it was bank holiday monday yesterday today is tuesday so i went to the gym it was a struggle getting up this morning because i was just knackered as you can tell but today we've got a new bed getting delivered for one of the spare rooms the spare room which i've shown you before i'll show you in a minute has kind of just been a bit of our like storage dumping ground room which i do think you need in a new house when you move in because there's just stuff that hasn't had a home and that's why they've been keeping it however we've got a bed coming today which i'm so excited about because i love it so we're gonna try and turn that room around a little bit get some organization i need to order some bedside tables i need to order a mattress for that room because we haven't even got a mattress and currently there's just clothes everywhere so so let me show you what we're currently working with like I said, it's currently 8 o'clock. It's coming between 8.30 and 11.30. So I want to just get this room cleared first thing in case it comes straight away. So this is the current situation of this room. It's literally just got a load of stuff in it. And we need to clear it, make room for the bed, and then we can get some organisation going on. Obviously, this is the little chest of drawers which I got when we first moved in. It became a dumping ground and not styled very nice. But we're going to turn this room around. And it's going to be a nice, lovely spare room. So what I'm thinking of doing is moving stuff from that room into this guest bedroom, which basically just has a bed and bedside tables. I haven't done anything else in here yet. Um, again, I'd quite like to panel in here, I think. I want to get a nice dressing table. It's just not been a priority other rooms I have came first um but yeah I'm gonna move everything from that room basically into this room so that then once the bed's in I can start moving stuff over the room just needs to be clear so that the guys can get the bed in cleared it first thing this morning because I've just had a phone call to say that they're going to be five minutes but this room is all clear all that's left in is some bedding down there which is for the new bed and obviously the side table which to be fair depending on where the bed goes I might move here um but we'll see how much room it is when it's in and what looks best but yeah the room is clear Feels new again. I'm going to quickly give it a hoover and then the bed should be here. Okay, the bed is here. I'm really hoping that this is going to be easy to put up because I would really like to get this done quite quickly. I've got a lot to do today. Let's open it up, see what's in there and then we'll assess the situation. Oh! It is the next day and the bed is built. I did some of it last night. I had to go and put the camera on charge. So I thought, you know what? I'll just show you it when it's done. Um, but I was doing this until like 10 o'clock last night and then I've just finished putting all the slats in this morning. It was actually quite difficult because it's an ottoman storage bed. It was very technical with all these little bits and bobs. It wasn't as easy as just literally drilling it all together. Um, but absolutely love it. Look how gorgeous this bouclier material is. It is just stunning and I wanted this guest room to really feel just very chill and hotel vibes, which I feel like I've said for literally every room. But this one I want, you know, like coastal, relaxing, just zen. That's the vibe we're going for. Um, I need to do some paint samples, but I can't be bothered to do that right now because as soon as I put the samples on, it'll annoy me seeing them on the wall and I'll then have to paint it and I just don't 
don't really have time for that. So I've just ordered some bedside tables. I was really umming and ahhing about what to get because I didn't want anything too chunky. I wanted something quite simple. I didn't need storage in here. So it was more just literally for decoration. Um, and I found some really nice brass glass ones, which I think will be nice because with them being glass, it'll keep it bright and airy in here. And I'll have to change out that silver candle thing need to get some nice lamps need to put those pictures on the wall and i've also ordered a mattress because we don't have a mattress in here so that should be coming in the next few days but i'm going to start putting stuff under the ottoman storage because let me show you how it works so you just pull oh god that is heavy pull that up and we've now got all this room under here to store stuff which is honestly so good for my summer clothes for stuff i don't wear all the time so i'm going to start putting stuff in there getting this room tidy and then i can go and collect the bedside tables in three hours because i ordered them from denelm and it's three hours collection which i thought was a very good little feature because when i want something i want it to arrive straight away like i hate waiting for deliveries so yeah we're gonna have some good progress in this room today don't mess up the trick hey young world i'm the new slick rick they say i'm guys i've just found this playlist called can i put you there for the baddies it's called for the baddies right to say whose playlist it is i literally just found it on um spotify I've just been really, really in my feels on um, this journey to Denelm. Currently got Knock You Down on, a bit of Kerry Hilson. I've had a bit of Rihanna. I've had a bit of Beyonce. It's been a whole, um, a whole sing along. So if you're feeling like you need to get into your bad bitch energy, get that playlist on. Um, just got to Denelm. It hasn't even been three hours since I ordered, but I got a text saying that my delivery is ready. There's a big B&M here and also a home sense. So I feel like I'm going to just pop in them and see if there's any other little bits. Because I haven't actually been home shopping in a while for like little cute bits. So I'm actually really looking forward to having a little look around. It's not even sunny, but I felt like I just needed some sunglasses on. But let's head in. I've also got a package here from Denelm, which I ordered. It had like an ornament in, but it arrived um smashed so i'm hoping that they will either replace it for me or refund it because it literally arrived totally smashed so that was a shame but yeah let's go and have a little shop that was a very successful shop i didn't get lamps but i feel like i need to put the tables up first and assess what style of lamp because i've seen a few i like but i don't know if they're gonna be like too big or too small but i popped into tk max home sense um and got some absolute finds so i'll give you a little haul when we get back got a little protein bar because i'm starving and i need something to get me home because i just can't wait so i'll give you a haul when i get back hello chunky monkey oh hello chunky boy hello i missed you I missed you. Right, guys, we are home. I'm going to go and build the coffee table. No, not coffee table. Bedside tables in a minute. It says part assembly. I'm hoping that there's not a lot to do because that bed, like I said, was difficult. Um, but let me show you what I've got from HomeSense. Well, it was a TK Maxx, but on TK Maxx and HomeSense, the same thing. I think so. Anyway, first up is this. I got one of these quite a while ago when we first moved in which is in the hallway um it's like a different shape but i think it must be the same brand because it's pretty much the same um they're just good to style up spaces so like one of the side tables or maybe the big chest of drawers this could be cute on they're just good like decorative pieces and this was in the sale for a tenner and i think the one the other one i got was like 30 quid or something so i just thought you know what they're good to pick up there's always going to be a space to style them I've then got, which I thought was a good little find, one of the Soho House coffee table books. So I've got two of the Eat, Drink, Nap ones, which are like the nude colour ones. One is on the shelf over there, one is in the kitchen. And I just saw that and I thought, Do you know what? Don't know where it's going to go. But again, it's cute. It'll always, 
you always need coffee table books to style up places i'm always looking for more so whenever i see a good one i just pick it up and that was 27.99 the real price is 35 so a little bit of a saving and then i picked up these so this again was from soho house and it had like one of the security things on and i looked and it said 18 pounds i was like that's cheap and it looks like a big box it's like a gift set so i searched online the name which is here to see what it was and it's 140 quid online and i was like do you know what for 18 pound no matter what's in that box i'm gonna convince myself to buy it because of the saving anyway i took it downstairs asked the lady to open it for me so i could see what was in because obviously i had a security thing which i couldn't open and it's these two stunning candle holders. Now, online they look tiny. So when she opened them and they were that big, I was like, gorgeous. Um, let me try and get one out. So again, I just thought for styling up places, maybe for on the new bedside tables. It's these two candle holders. I love how rustic that looks. Package from my faves, Noughts and Kisses with some summer clothes which i'm very excited about and um, but yeah i just thought they were really nice look at this green one how lovely is that just for like decoration and then it comes with the little candle to go in it they're really cute what a lovely little saving that was so yeah i'm now gonna should i have some lunch quickly i feel like that protein bar filled me up let's go and build the side tables do a little bit of styling although i haven't got any lamps so there's not a lot we can do and then i'll probably have some lunch i'll show you what's in the notes and kisses in another vlog i think i'm going to do a pack with me for my holiday so you'll see that then but yeah. <laughs> room they look nice and airy i am so happy with them so they've basically got this like brass um outline which i really like on a lot of furniture and then a glass top and then a mirrored bottom which will be nice because whatever i put on there it'll reflect off and when i light um like a candle or a lamp it'll reflect off now i just need to build the other one but i might just have a little bit of a style on here and see how it looks okay so this is how it's currently looking i mean it obviously still looks so bare because we haven't even got a mattress the walls are literally just white there's nothing on the walls so this is definitely the start but when you think back to what this room looked like at the start of this vlog with all of the rails and the claws and the boxes this is definitely a big improvement so this is just what i've done at the minute i've just put the little book down there and then a few little bits on here. I'm going to get like a nice tray for on top of there. And then obviously the lamps as well. I want like two statement lamps that basically take up the whole of the surface of that. Like two big round lamps. Which I think will work really well. I've kept this pretty bare for now. I've just put the two little candlesticks on. Which I absolutely love. I think they're so cute. And I think they look really different. And they go nice with the print. So I've just popped them on there for now. This weekend I'm going to get Jordan to put them on the wall for me. And then I think I need some different styling on here, like maybe some coffee table books, a big candle, some flowers, just it needs stuff going on. 
And then over here on this bedside table, I've just put some of my more prettier books, shall we say, like my self-help books, stuff like that, that look cute to have out. And then nothing on the top because I just don't know what to put there, to be honest. But I'm so happy with the progress in here. I feel like we're really getting somewhere and at least it's no longer a dumping ground. Right guys, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out Freddie's flowers, which will be all down below in the description, along with my discount code, which is Dion10. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.